Now, get this. Octopuses are visitors from outer space. Here's how this would have happened. Ice-kept eggs of octopuses stuck in spatial bodies crashed into Earth. Then these guys would have mixed together with a pre-existing set of genetic information available on our planet. And presto, octopuses were born. Well, it may be a long stretch to justify that the highly intelligent octopuses are extraterrestrial beings. But the idea is based on a theory that has been around since ancient Greece, something known as panspermia. Now, panspermia is a hypothesis that says life exists all around the universe, not only in planets. So things such as space dust, asteroids, and even spacecraft have their share of life glued to them. And when they travel across the galaxy, life is disseminated. This strand of thought has been polemic, since it goes against the idea that all life originated right here on our planet. But as much as this new octopus theory might be refreshing, it doesn't contribute too substantially to the search for life on other planets. It's just too hypothetical. Now, octopuses are in fact incredibly old. The oldest known fossil belongs to an animal that lived almost 300 million years ago. FYI, this is before our dinosaur buddies roamed the Earth. Wait, there's more! Octopus arms have a mind of their own. That's because two-thirds of their neurons lie in their arms, not in their heads. This means that their arms can problem-solve how to open a shellfish, while their owner is worried about other stuff entirely. Talk about ninja-level multitasking. Oh, and like other animals, such as chimpanzees and dolphins, octopuses have proven to be good at maneuvering tools, like picking up old shells and using them as a temporary home. Now, of course, the most intelligent animals on our planet are humans, according to humans. But we don't seem to give pigs enough credit. Pigs are so smart they can play video games. No, not Minecraft. But in a recent academic study, scientists had four pigs play a joystick game. They had to manipulate the stick so that the moving ball would hit the wall and then they would get a treat. All four pigs did great in the test, which was surprising even to the scientists. Now, pigeons also aced an impressive test. They were trained to differentiate a Picasso painting from a Monet one, which they had no trouble learning. Then, they were able to apply this knowledge, identifying works of art they had not previously seen, meaning they really understood the difference between each painter. Poor things are always seen as a nuisance. Now, if we placed kangaroos in an animal's most amazing ability contest, they'd win! It's mainly because they break the four-legged rule. A special species of kangaroo, the red kangaroo, uses its tail to help propel it forward. Now, visually, it has four limbs, but in practice, it uses five. They're biologically built to use their tail as a fifth limb, since it's packed with articulated vertebrae and thick muscles. Of course, it had to be an Australian animal. Okay, jokes aside, Australia is home to a variety of unique animals, like the most venomous snake in the world. This not-so-cute reptile is known as the inland taipan, and its venom is enough to take down a hundred humans. And still, on the topic of dangerous animals, the island is also home to one of the world's most venomous spiders, the funnel web spider, which can be found not too far away from downtown Sydney. Yikes! <laughs> The Little Mermaid may have shown us that life is good under the sea. But she didn't mention anything about the bizarre ways of the anglerfish. Anglerfish are those special types of fish that have a huge whip nose connected to the front part of their bodies. They look like they're forever holding a lantern in front of them. Except that the little lantern they carry is a type of bioluminescence. And it's far from romantic, as anglerfish use it to lure smaller fish in as their meals. It was back in 1999 that scientists discovered that these little guys spend most of their lives upside down. They had never seen anything like that. Hovering above the Pacific Ocean floor at a depth of around 16,400 feet, where light almost doesn't even reach, there they were. They do this because since they live so close to the seafloor, their built-in lantern illuminates the ground in search of food. They might be weird, but they're also pretty clever. Recently, scientists have discovered a species of animal that has neither a brain nor a head and is pretty smart. Meet the brittle star. 
This five-armed creature is a bundle of nerves, and it has proved itself to be super clever. In a recent experiment, scientists would dim the light while they fed brittle stars their favorite treat, yummy shrimps. After 10 months of conditioning, these babies would creep out of hiding as soon as the scientists turned off the light in the room they were in. Surely they were expecting to enjoy a delicious meal. Now we really shouldn't judge a brain by its size, or lack of brain in this case. There's something known as the orange cat behavior, and apparently it's not just a meme. So far, scientists have been able to understand that coat color is connected to a feline's gender. And since orange is an X chromosome, orange cats are usually males, like Garfield. The so-called orange cat behavior describes ginger cats as agents of chaos. Again, pretty much like Garfield. However, there haven't been any conclusive studies on whether coat color and cat behavior are truly linked. In terms of vision, mantis shrimps probably have the most psychedelic vision out of all animals. These funny-looking creatures have a whopping 16 varieties of photoreceptors, with five of them reserved for the ultraviolet or UV spectrum. Ultraviolet rays are really short wavelengths, which are invisible to humans. The thing science still doesn't understand is how exactly these mantis shrimp view the world around them. Sure, they can perceive a bunch of colors, but they can't necessarily distinguish all of these colors among themselves. It can be that they just see a lot of really vivid, really blurry colors. But we haven't figured out a way to check that out. Now, to say sloths are cute is an understatement. They may be one of the friendliest animals in the jungle, but there's more. If you look closely at their fur coat, you'll notice hints of green. These greeneries are actually tiny little algae that grow alongside sloths. They help sloths to camouflage better in the jungle, but they also nurture them. The little cracks inside a sloth's fur create the perfect environment for algae reproduction, and scientists have found species of algae that don't exist anywhere else in the world. They do get by with a little help from their friends. Deep within the Sahara Desert, you'll find a little creature known as the fennec fox. This huge-eared animal adapted perfectly to survive in its hostile environment. The huge ears help them to dissipate the unbearable heat of the desert, as well as help them to hunt for underground prey. Now meet this guy. Unlike what its name might suggest, the red panda is closer to a raccoon than it is to a giant panda. You'll find a lot of these cat-sized creatures in the Himalayan region, hopping from tree to tree and bundled together trying to keep warm in the harsh weather. They're gentle and friendly like their big panda cousins and occasionally enjoy eating some bamboo sticks. And then there are bees. Compared to humans, bees' brains are the size of pinheads, yet they are capable of astounding things. Let's say a bee is running low on energy after a long search flight. This bee desperately needs a drop of honey in order to continue flying. But smartly enough, she doesn't need to go back to the hive to recharge. She can ask a fellow beehive mate for a drop of honey directly from this other bee's stomach and continue flying. This type of decentralized system allows them to build highly effective societies, one that bees don't need to push the cues in front of the honey cells, for example. Hey, just kidding. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.